who's going to be there at the end. Now only two teams left in the cup, and we're left wondering who's going to be lifting it. Stay tuned, we'll have all the action for you live on EA TV. After a long season of travelling up and down the continent, the moment is near. My name is Derek Ray, and I'm joined by Stuart Robson, as always, on these special occasions for commentary. We're getting close to kickoff time in the UEFA Europa Conference League final. It is Villarreal, and they face Lech Poznan. Well, Derek, what a final this should be. Both these sides have played some great football to get here. I just hope we see them at their best today. This should be a great game. Villarreal starting 11. Well, 4 4 2 is a good formation if it's played well. It covers most of the bases defensively, and if you can then rotate your positions when you regain possession, you can also be fluid in attack. Let's hope we see that today. This is what they'll be up against today. Well, in this shape, their two holding midfield players will be key today. If they can get on the ball and dictate the play, protect the two centre-backs, it will then allow the attacking players to show their creative quality. So the battle commences. The tackle completely mistimed, and you would expect a booking under the circumstances. Well, the referee's stamping his authority on the situation. He's decided to book him, Stuart. Well, you can't get away with that, even this early in the game. That's a bad challenge. Grunefeld, Parejo, Capu now, Aurier, well if you watch a lot of football you know that Parejo can always oh, he bring can score it. here Derek, and denied by the keeper, impressive, to Moreno and getting the ball forward Moreno now Parejo Capu well he tried to place that one and given his proximity to the goal he's bound to be disappointed foul there free kick awarded This to make it 1-0. And the ball is loose. Well, that 
that's the end of that for now. Amaral. Good use of the ball, but can they trouble the defence? It certainly wasn't a clean tackle, and the referee has got to book him, I think. Well, he's gone into the book. Well, he was late, and he deserved a booking for that. He goes short. Still on level terms, moving the ball nicely. Really vital interception. Grunefeld. Bodies forward and the break looks on. Can they keep it going? Chance to cross. Oh, could be. The opening goal in the final. And how important could that be as a direction pointer? Well, here's the replay, and it's a really inviting ball played into the box, begging players to attack it. And from there, he never looked like missing. That's a lovely goal. and dispossessed this attack looks highly promising and a throw in it's going to be Amaral and played in oh a goal he's equalised was he made from moments like this on an occasion like this Well, let's look at this again. The one and two touch passing is absolutely outstanding to play around the pressure, which makes it a fairly simple finish in the end. It's a really good goal. So in business once more, on the back of that very important equaliser, 1-1. One, one. Etienne Capou. And there to intervene. Decent position. work to regain possession Parejo on the ball to Cuesi Gerard Moreno now Parejo is it going to end up being productive for them Parejo Moreno a penalty can they get themselves in front well some might say he's been fortunate to avoid being shown the card well I like that from the referee just because it's a penalty doesn't mean it's a yellow card I think he's got it right
This to put them back in front. In it goes! Coley converted! Well, as you can see, the keeper makes no effort in the end. He was hoping it would be struck down the middle, but it's an easy finish, really. So back underway, intriguing contest this, given the 2-1 scoreline. We've had the official word, there will be a minimum of two added minutes. Mikhail Ishak. And so it is, the first half story has been written. to consider based on what we've seen so far as the second half begins Pau Torres well couldn't keep it Muravsky Mikhail Ishak well they're moving the ball neatly enough just looking for that decisive pass that is tackling of the highest order. And the counter-attack is on. Options available. Alberto Moreno. Parejo. Top-class defending. Parejo. Moving into the advanced position. And space for the cross. Parejo. Orie. Capu now. Parejo. And missing the chance to give them a bit of breathing space. Well, that should have made it more comfortable, shouldn't it? But it's a wasted opportunity. Now they're going to alter things. Here's the substitution. Amaral. Mikhail Ishak. Could pick out a teammate. It's opening up for them. Promising position, this. Muravsky. Good use of the ball, but can they trouble the defence? It looks promising. Body on the line. Raul Albiol. Torres on the ball. Well, possession is the watchword inside their own territory. Alberto Moreno. Very difficult challenge to perform, but he succeeded. Throw ins given. Salomon Amaral Mikael Ishak Really important piece of last ditch defending
Lo Celso. Gerard Moreno. And he could really get at the opposition. Oh, a fine block. Ten minutes left for play. Well, time is against them. They have work to do. Muravsky. And in possession, Amaral. No way through. A corner then, and with time running out, they've got to ask questions. Who's going to get on the end of it? Not fantastic defending. Let's see if it helps the opposition. Antonio Milic. It's got to be! And able to close down the shots. No Celso. Gerard Moreno. Now can they counter clinically? Aurier. Over the touchline for a throw-in. And with play stopped, they will make the change now. Pedro Rebocho. Joao Amaral with it. And there goes the final whistle. The cup issue is settled. A story of one side celebrating and the other distraught. Memories 